Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy holy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. And in this decade, we consecrate to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, all our priests, our religious, all the authorities of the Holy Catholic Church. All on the left, our Father, who art in heaven, Holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy holy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit and the apostles. 
and all of us in the upper room right now join with our blessed mother praying for a mighty revival of the holy spirit in our hearts all on the right give us today lord our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy holy mercy. the fourth glorious mystery the assumption of our blessed virgin mother we consecrate all our families in the pune diocese to the immaculate heart of our holy mother our father who art in heaven holy be your name your kingdom come your will be done on the earth as it is in heaven Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy holy mercy. In the fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of our most beloved Holy Mother as Queen of heaven and earth, and you and I consecrate our lives to our Blessed Mother right now as we will all pray this last decade together. Together, our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Yeah. 
All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the life of the diocese, the installation of a new bishop is a significant event. Unlike ordination, the reception of a bishop is an administrative act rather than a sacramental one. The bishop takes position of the diocese by the proclamation of the apostolic letter and the moment in which he sits in his cathedral. This is the first time which the bishop, as the prime steward of the mysteries of God in the particular church entrusted to his care, presides at the Eucharist with the clergy and the people taking part. And so the mystery of the church is manifest. As we begin this liturgical celebration, let us unite all our prayers for Bishop John Rodericks as he takes charge as the Bishop of Pune Diocese. Dharam Prant ke jeevan mein ek naye bishop ki sthapna ek mahatva prun ghatna hai. Samanvai ke viprit ek bishop ka swagat ek sanskari ke bajay ek prashasnik karya hai. Bishop Apostolic Patra ki Goshna Dwari Drampreet par kabza kar lete hai aur wo shan jis mein wo apne kathedriya mein baitte hai. Ye pehli baar hai jab bishop vishesh roop se church mein bhagwan ke rahesu ke pramuk prabandak ke roop mein usse apni dekbal ke liye sopa jata hai. Padri aur logo ke saath Eucharisti ki adhyaksha karta hai aur is liye church ka rahasya prakat hota hai. Jaisi ki hum is dharmik utsaf ki shuruvat karte hai, aayye hum Bishop John Rodericks ke liye apni sabhi pratnao ko ek jut kare kyunki वो पुना धर्मप्रांत के बिशप के रूप में कार्यबार देखा करेंगे। At the door of the cathedral, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Bombay, Cardinal Oswald Gracious, introduces Bishop John Rodericks to the rector of the cathedral, Father S. A. Lewis, who offers Bishop John a crucifix and a sprinkler with holy water. Cathedral ke darwaze par, Bombay ke Metropolitan Archbishop, Cardinal Oswald Gracious ne Bishop John Rodericks ko cathedral ke rector Father S. A. Lewis se milwaya jino ne Bishop John ko ek krus aur pavitra jal ke saath ek sprinkler pradhan kiya.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brother cardinals, my dear brother bishops, my dear sisters, 
fathers, my dear people present over here in this congregation. The Universal Church today prays to Mary, help of Christians. We pray to her today to turn her compassionate eyes to the Diocese of Pune, to the church in Pune, that she intercedes for us on this very significant day. This is more than just a significant day. It's historic because with the ad advent of a new pastor, a new bishop, Bishop John Rodericks, a new chapter in the history of the Diocese of Pune is beginning. A new history, new bishop, new trust in evangelization, fresh blood, fresh ideas, enthusiasm, a greater unity among everybody in a particular direction. This moment we must pray to Our Lady and to Saint Joseph also to thank God for the 14 years of ministry of Bishop Thomas Dabare, who has worked zealously to spread God's kingdom over here. At the national and international level, Bishop Dabre is known as a theologian, a man who reaches out, a man of dialogue, a man of inculturation. He always helped us in different fields, national, international, and definitely in his own archdiocese, was a pioneer in many uh, events of inculturation and creativity in having the faith taking root in the soil. Today, as we begin this rite of installation, uh, we begin with the very first formal act, the showing of the letter of appointment by the Holy Father, whose representative is over here present, Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli, whom the Church of Puna uh, welcomes with great joy, as he, in a way, presides over the, this installation we have the letter of appointment by the Holy Father read to the congregation. May I request you to sit as the Chancellor reads this to us. The apostolic letter will now be shown to the consultors and read. Apostolic patra, ab consultors ko dikhaya jayega aur padaya jayega. This paper bull is a free translation by Bishop Emirate Thomas Dabre. It may not be very accurate from the original Latin text. Francis, Bishop Servant of the Servants of God, greetings and blessings to our venerable brother John Rodericks. Until now, titular Bishop of Dualto and Auxiliary of the Metropolitan Archdiocese of Bombay now appointed to the Diocese of Pune. The splendor of the divine glory which illuminates the world with its ineffable brightness is spread by the Roman Church, which with diligent maternal care, carefully watches and solicits like a caring mother through the ministry of the successor of the Apostle Peter, that all ecclesial communities, especially those who would be deprived of their own bishops, that appropriate shepherds are sent who are able to competently govern in spiritual and temporal matters. Moved by such thoughts, we now turn our attention to the Diocese of Pune, who after the resignation of the venerable brother Thomas Dabre, is deprived of his bishop. Solicitous that therefore no one should suffer damage by this, 
We have decided, Venerable Brother, to choose you who are already experienced in carrying out episcopal duties to fulfill the office of bishop there. Having heard, therefore, the opinion of the dicastery for evangelization with our apostolic authority, we appoint you the bishop of Pune with all rights and obligations attached to this office according to canon law. You will ensure that the clergy and the people of this community are informed of this letter of ours, and we invite them heartily to constantly treat you with esteemed affection and give you diligent cooperation. We therefore, Venerable Brother, exhort you that with the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Joseph, her spouse, and guardian of the Redeemer with God, given gifts given to you, study carefully the needs of your office and exercise it faithfully and praiseworthily so that the desired fruits may be borne for the people entrusted to you. Given at Rome, Lateran, on the 25th day of the month of March, on the Annunciation of the Lord in the year 1023, the 11th of our pontificate. Francis. Let us therefore bless the Lord. Eminence, Oswald Cardinal Gracious, Archbishop of Bombay, will now lead Most Reverend John Rodericks to the cathedral. Bombay ke Archbishop Oswald Cardinal Gracious, up Reverend Bishop John Rodericks ko cathedral pe le jayenge. Reverend Bishop John Rodericks, is son se adhikarik tor par puna dhrampanth ke bishop hai. Most Reverend John Rodericks is from this moment on officially the bishop of the Pune diocese. Let us now welcome our bishop with a big round of applause. Our bishop is now greeted symbolically by representatives from the Diocese of Pune. Hamare bishop ko ap Pune Dhramprant ke pratidhyo dwara pratmatik roop se badai di jati hai. Pune Diocese Consultors, Chancellor, Provincials, four representatives of the Diocese and Kalerji, Superior Generals, CRI representatives, representatives of the lay faithful, children, youth, elders, and a couple.
with joy in our hearts let us give glory to the father son and spirit Let's pray. O God, who in each pilgrim church throughout the world make visible the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, graciously grant that your faithful may be so united to their shepherd and gathered together in the Holy Spirit through the gospel and the Eucharist as to worthily embody the universality of your people and become a sign and instrument in the world of the presence of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. पहिले वाचन सौंद पोल्लाची इफिस करास पाठवलेल्या पत्रातून घेतलेले वाचन 
त्याने कोणी प्रेषित कोणी स्वार्थी असे नेमून दिले जो मी प्रभूमध्ये बंदीवान तो मी तुम्हाला विनवून सांगतो की तुम्हाला झालेल्या पाचारण शोभेल असे चला पूर्ण नम्रता सौम्यता आणि सहनशीलता दाखवून एकमेकांना प्रीतीने वागवून घ्या आमच्याद्वारे घडून आलेले ऐक्य शांतीच्या संबंधाने राखण्यास झटत जा तुम्हाला झालेल्या पाचारणापासून निर्माण होणारी आशा जशी एकच आहे तसे शरीरही एकच आणि आत्मा एकच आहे प्रभू एकच विश्वास एकच सान संस्कार एकच सर्वांच्या आणि सर्वांमधून आणि सर्वांच्या ठाई आलेले देव जो सर्वांचा पिता तोही एकच आहे तरी आपल्यापैकी प्रत्येकाला ख्रिस्तांनी दिलेल्या दानाच्या परिणाम प्रमाणे अनुग्रहरूपी देणगी प्राप्त झाली आहे आणि त्याने कोणी प्रेषित कोणी संदेष्टी कोणी सुवार्थिक कोणी पाळक आणि शिक्षक असे नेमून दिले हे ह्यासाठी की त्यांनी पवित्रजनास सेवेच्या कार्यकरिता आणि ख्रिस्ताच्या शरीराची रचना पूर्णतेस नेण्याकरिता सिद्ध करावी देवाच्या पुत्रावरील विश्वासाच्या आणि तथ्यसंबंधी परिपूर्ण ज्ञानाच्या एक प्रत प्रौढ मनुष्यपणा प्रत ख्रिस्ताची पूर्णता प्राप्त होईल अशा बुद्धीच्या मर्यादेप्रत आपण सर्व येऊन पोहोचू तोपर्यंत दिले हा प्रभूचा शब्द आहे
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, Neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my word abides in my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you by this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Who are you? When we introduce ourselves, we respond to this basic question. We state our name and we describe something of what we do. For example, I am John Rodericks. For nearly 10 years, Auxiliary Bishop of Bombay. Recently, Bishop Designate and from a few minutes ago, Bishop of Pune. Could each one of you now introduce yourselves? No, we won't do that. We'll be here the whole night. When introducing ourselves, we describe what we do, our responsibility, our role. But underlying that description are two fundamental affirmations that are implied. And these are highlighted in the readings of today. Firstly, that we belong to Christ, that we are intimately connected to the person of Jesus Christ. And the image that is presented to us in the gospel passage from John is that of the vine and the branches. And the second affirmation underlying whatever we say is that we are members of the church. We are incorporated into his body. And the image that our first reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians gave us was that of the body of Christ. 
The image of wine was very rich in meaning for the people of Israel. The prophets Isaiah and Jeremiah spoke of Israel as the vineyard of the Lord, God's chosen vine. But the prophets also criticized the people of Israel because it was a vine that did not yield good fruit. And in this context, Jesus says at the start of chapter 15, I am the true vine, the vine that will be cared for by the Father, and the vine that yields fruit according to the will of the Father. And then Jesus goes on to say, the disciples are branches of that vine. To bear fruit, it is necessary that the branches abide or remain connected to the vine. And Jesus repeats that right through this chapter. They are part of the vine, in union with the vine, closely bound to the vine, intimately connected to him, drawing their very life from the vine. And Jesus insists that we must abide in his love. It means that we are to be in communion with him, to be connected, to draw all our strength and energy from him. We live in the Lord, and the Lord lives in us. This mutual indwelling is what all disciples of the Lord are called to live and experience. May we seek to grow in intimacy with the Lord, learning his ways and doing his will dwelling with him, resting in the arms of the Heavenly Father like a child, trusting that God knows what is best for us and that he will take care. We have experienced this at various moments and we did experience it even during the pandemic in trying and difficult times, God taking care of us. We know that he will continue to sustain us with his providential care. To bear fruit, the branches must remain in the vine, abide in the vine. And secondly, if they are to bear fruit, the branches must be ready to be pruned or trimmed. Being a disciple, therefore, means ready to follow the Lord's teachings. It calls for discipline, readiness to listen what the Lord tells us. Pruning means cutting off, letting go. And there may be areas in our lives that are not in keeping with the Lord's will a habit, an attitude, my way of dealing with people, we place these before the Lord and we ask him to prune us, to help us to let go. And as we let go, we will see the fruits in abundance that come from remaining in the Lord and allowing him to prune us. May these fruits in our lives personally and in the life of the whole church bring joy to others and strengthen the church. Besides the image of the vine, our first reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians gives us the image of the body of Christ. The church is not just a group of people gathered together, but we are members of the body of Christ. Christ is the head, and each one of us is led and directed and guided and enriched by him. Paul tells the Ephesians, be worthy of your calling. Preserve unity. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. And therefore, he urges them to unity in diversity. Because the Spirit gives gifts in various ways. The Spirit is the source of diversity. The Spirit is also the one who unites us together. All the responsibilities and roles, all the works of service are to be used for the building up of the church, the body of Christ, and growth in maturity. I had chosen as my motto as a bishop to build up the body of Christ in the work of service drawn precisely from Ephesians chapter 4. We thank God for the diversity of gifts and the roles that we see here in the Diocese of Pune. We may come from different cultural backgrounds, we have different experiences, and yet each one of you is involved in the life of the church. Through the parishes, through the small Christian communities, through various associations, through your witness, wherever the Lord sends you. 
you are in your neighborhood, in your place of work, in your institution, not by chance. The Lord has placed you there and you bear witness. You are the representative of the church, the church here in Pune, the church that the Lord has blessed. Pune is blessed with so many consecrated persons so many religious congregations, each with their own specific charism, different spiritualities. You, dear consecrated persons, dear religious, enrich the life of the church. You bear radical witness to the following of the gospel. May the Lord continue to strengthen you. You are present in remote areas. You are the representatives of the church in those places. Maybe you are the only gospel others will read. Priests have a variety of talents, skills, and roles in the pastoral, social, educational, spiritual spheres. We are to strengthen our collaboration to your brother priests, not just in our words, not just through our preaching, yes, very much through that, but even more through the witness of our lives. I thank the Lord for all the skills and abilities that he has blessed you with. We are called to work together with the religious, with the lay faithful, with all people of all religions. Our unity is not just walking side by side, but rather a genuine concern for each other, as Paul says, and a desire for the growth of the church. Our unity is best celebrated in the Eucharist. Sant Paul Manto, apan ekats bakhar khato, manun apan ekats sharir banto. Pavitra bakri la krista che sharir bantat, Krista Sabela Sudha, Krista Sharir Mantat. Upon ek Sharir Manun Raila Paije, Premane Vashraddene, upon ek Mekana Protsan Dila Paije, Sir Ek Vyakti Ananditahe, Sarazan Tancha Sukhat, Sahabagi Ayat, Sir Ek Vyakti Adzanitahe, Sir Sarazan Tancha Dukhat, Sahabagi Hotat. Jeva Apan Yeshu Kristala Svikarna Sati Pure Eto Dharmaguru Manto Kristache Sharir Ani Apan Manto Amen Amen Manje Hoi Mi Manya Kurto Ki He Kristache Sharirahe Malatyacha Sarka Vaitsa Mi Chito Ki Yeshu Maja Made Yave Ami Tyacha Devik Jivanat Sahabagyu Ani Maja Jivanat Parivartan Huil Mi Chito कि माजे शब्द माजे शब्द द्वारे माजे कृत्य द्वारे कृष्णाचे प्रेम इतराना पोषुएल विश्वासाने अपन आमेन मंतो। My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather for the Eucharist, we experience, we celebrate that great unity that Christ wished. We witness today at this Eucharist the gathering of not just the diocese of Pune. But many bishops of the Western region present here, including the Suro Malaba and the Suro Malankara churches. We also experience the support of the church in India by the presence of bishops from other cities and the office bearers of the CCBI. We have a sign of the universal church and our special bonding with the Aitstat diocese represented here by father and two lay members and of course, the presence of the Apostolic Nuncio, Most Reverend Leopoldo Girelli, is the assurance of the Holy Father's paternal blessing and a sign of our loyalty and fidelity to Pope Francis. May the body of Christ present here at this moment grow in unity and may the glory of God shine forth through this body as we just sang at, in the entrance hymn, may we, may we become what we eat.
Paul prays for unity in faith and knowledge of the Son of God. Not just a vague idea of who God is, but the conviction that comes from having experienced the power of the risen Lord in our lives. And I do believe, my dear brothers and sisters, that each one of you has experienced this in some way, in different degrees. The power of the Lord lifting you up and saving you. Paul says that both these, unity in faith and knowledge of Christ, are signs of maturity. And the model is Christ himself. He is the fullness to which all of us as individuals and the entire church must grow. As persons with responsibility, priests, the closest collaborators of the bishop, we are to ensure that those under our care also grow in maturity. The name Pune is derived from the word Punya, meaning holy. May we in the Diocese of Pune respond to the Lord's call to holiness. A holiness not of separation, but of being one with every human being, because that is the way chosen by Jesus. Pavitriya veglya panache nahi, pan pratek mansa barobar ek asnya che. Karan Prabhu Yeshu Krista ne hats marg swikarla. Devane manwal itke maulewan manle ki Yeshu made to manushya sala aplya tarana sati. आपण हे मान्य करत असताना आपण हे देखील लक्षात ठेवलं पाहिजे की आपण प्रत्येक माणसाचा आदर केला पाहिजे आपल्याला मानवी जीवनाचे संरक्षण करण्यासाठी देखील आमंत्रण आहे देव प्रत्येक माणसाला सन्मान देतो मानवता हा येशूने निवडलेला मार्ग आहे आपण प्रत्येक माणसाचा आदर करूया we are invited to defend life when it is at its weakest, the unborn child, the life of the terminally ill. We are to promote life, to support those for whom life seems burdensome, for whom life seems heavy, to rejoice at the birth of a child. We thank the Lord Jesus for valuing our humanity. May we respect every human being. We look to Mary, help of Christians, as we honor her on this feast day. She drew strength from the vine. She clung to the vine even at the most difficult moment. She stood at that tree of life when all hope seemed lost. She still trusted that God would bring something meaningful from it. She remained connected to the vine. And then with the apostles, she prayed together, rallying them to await the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. May Mary, help of Christians, continue to intercede for us and to pray for us. As bishop, it is my responsibility to encourage, to discern the promptings of the Holy Spirit, to teach, to lead by my own example, to be available, to exhort, to pray, to exercise authority with love, so that we will become a sign of God's love for all his people. It is a tall order. I trust in the Lord's grace and on your wholehearted cooperation. Even as I pray for you, pray for me, my dear priests, religious, lay faithful. May we walk this synodal journey together, offering to the Lord the best that we can, knowing that he is faithful. And because he is faithful, he will help us to be faithful to our calling. We ask that we will be united to Christ the vine and so bear much fruit. And that each member in the diocese will care for the other. And we grow in unity and maturity. May St. Patrick, our patron, and Mary, help of Christians, intercede for us.
Let us now stand and affirm our faith in God, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayer of the faithful. As parts of a building that has the apostles and prophets as its foundation and sustained by the intercession of Mary, help of Christians, let us now place our intentions before the Father of mercies. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Together. For the Holy Church of God, that the synodal journey we have embarked upon may help the clergy and laity to listen attentively to the voice of the Holy Spirit and empower us to be faithful to Christ's mission. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our shepherd, Bishop John, that through his life and his ministry, he may strive to build up the body of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. अपले उत्तर असेल हे प्रभू आमची प्रार्थना ऐक हे प्रभू आमची प्रार्थना ऐक बिशप थॉमस डाब्रे करिता देवाने बिशप डाब्रे यांना आशीर्वादित करून त्यांना चांगली प्रकृती द्यावी जेने करून देवाच्या राज्यात ते त्यांचे कार्य चालू करतील यासाठी आपण प्रार्थना करूया हे प्रभू आमची प्रार्थना ऐक जगा करिता आम्हा सर्वांना जाणीव व्हावी की जीवनात खरी शांती आणि आनंद हा देवावरील व शेजाऱ्यावरील प्रेमानेच प्राप्त होतो यासाठी आपण प्रार्थना करूया हे प्रभू आमची प्रार्थना ऐक हमारी प्रार्थना का जवाब होगा प्रभु हमारी प्रार्थना सुन प्रभु हमारी प्रार्थना सुन याजकत्व और धार्मिक जीवन के लिए कि फसल का प्रभु अपने दाग के बारे में काम करने के लिए अधिक मजदूरों को भेज सके इसलिए हम प्रभु से प्रार्थना करते हैं प्रभु हमारी प्रार्थना सुन ख्रिस्तीय समुदाय के लिए जो वेदी के चारों ओर इकट्ठे हुए हैं वे वास्तव में एक शरीर का निर्माण करें जैसा कि वे मसीह में साझा करते हैं जो स्वर्ग से जीवित रोटी है इसलिए हम प्रभु से प्रार्थना करते हैं प्रभु हमारी प्रार्थना सुन। हमारे व्यक्तिगत उद्देश्यों के लिए हम प्रभु से प्रार्थना करते हैं प्रभु हमारी प्रार्थना सुन। ओ लॉर्ड लिसन ग्रेशियसली टू द सप्लिकेशन ऑफ योर चिल्ड्रन यू ऑलवेज वर्क फॉर द गुड ऑफ दोज हु लव यू गिव अस ग्रेस देन टू वर्क टायरलेसली फॉर द स्प्रेड ऑफ योर किंगडम वी आस्क दिस थ्रू क्राइस्ट आर लॉर्ड So now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. 
Therefore, God, O most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us was to suffer on the night of the Last Supper. He took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, to do this in memory of me. It's a mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through this passion and death on the cross, to the glory, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the classical sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity. Together, together with Francis, Francis our Pope, John, John our, Bishop, our Bishop, with all the, with all the bishops, bishops, priests, and deacons, and deacons and the entire, entire people you have made your own. Open our, open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, sisters inspire in us words and actions, and actions to, come to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Are burdened. Make, us make us serve, serve them truly, up to the up example of Christ and at his, at his command. command. And may, and may your, your church, church stand as a living, as a living witness to truth and, and freedom, to peace, to peace and, justice. and justice, that all, that all people be raised, raised up to a new, to a new hope. Remember, Remember our, our brothers, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope, in the hope of, your of your church, and are the, the dead, whose the sleep is known, known to you and alone. We, we remember, remember the parents of our, our bishop. Admit, admit them to rejoice, rejoice in the light of, of your face, face, and in the resurrection, given Jesus, your Son, our Lord.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. मेरे प्यारे भाई और बहनों हर एक धर्म में जो पवित्र से पवित्र माना जाता है वो केवल उसी धर्म के अनुयायी के लिए सीमित होता है अब बाटा जाने वाला पवित्र कृष्ण शरीर ईसाही लोगों के लिए अति पवित्र है इसलिए सिर्फ जिन्होंने कैथलिक चर्च में बपतिस मा लिया है और हमारे पोप फ्रांसिस में विश्वास रखते हैं वे ही पवित्र क्रिस्त शरीर लेने आके आए जो भी लोग अन्य पंथ के हैं या धर्म के हैं वे अपने जगह पे बैठे रहे हम आपके लिए प्रार्थना करेंगे
kindly stand for the prayer after communion. In this, your church, O Lord, may integrity of faith, holiness of life, fraternal charity, and pure religion flourish and abide until the end. And as you do not fail to feed her with the body of your son and with your word, so also never cease, we pray, to guide her under your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please, please be seated. The Apostolic Nernso to India, His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo Gerili will now address us. Your Eminence, uh, Cardinal Oswald de Grisias, Your Eminence, uh, Cardinal Felipe Neri Ferrao, dear Archbishops, Bishops here present, uh, Your Lordship, uh, Right Reverend John Rodriguez, uh, new Bishop of Puna, and Your Lordship, Right Reverend Thomas uh, Dabre, Bishops, Bishop Emeritus of Puna, dear brothers and sisters, and all of you, dear faithful of uh, the Diocese of Puna, I am pleased to be with all of you on this joyful occasion of the installation of the Right Reverend John Rodriguez as Bishop of Puna, and to give thanks to God for the gift of a new chief pastor to the Diocese of Puna. In uh, welcoming uh, the new bishop, I wish first and foremost, in the name of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, to thank Right Reverend Thomas Dabre for the faithful and dedicated service he has rendered to the church first as Auxiliary Bishop of Bombay for eight years, then as Bishop of Vasai for almost 11 years, and subsequently as Bishop of Puna for almost 14 years, followed by a brief period of three months as Apostolic Administrator till date. You, dear Bishop Thomas, also served as first Secretary General of the Conference of Catholic Bishops of India from 1998 to 2005, uh, among many other church offices you held. Dear Bishop Dabre, your service to Christ and his church will be long remembered by the faithful of the three dioceses you served as bishop. May the Lord bless you abundantly and keep you in good health. <clears throat> and dear Bishop Rodriguez, during your tenure of almost 10 years of, as auxiliary bishop of Bombay, you have worked uh, with much zeal, dedication, and commitment. You bring to the Diocese of Puna your vast experience, your pastoral skills, your love for teaching and proclaiming the Word of God, and your devotion to the Eucharist, as also seen your Paschal Episcopal motto, building up the body of Christ. As you assume the pastoral care of the people of God entrusted to you, may the Blessed Virgin Mary intercede for you, and may the patron saint of your diocese, St. Patrick, inspire you as you, as you 
work for the growth of the kingdom of God and the evangelization of people in Pune. In the words of Pope Francis, through the ministry of the bishop, Christ himself continues to proclaim the gospel of salvation and to sanctify believers through the sacraments of the faith. So, dear Bishop John, I wish you that you can be the good shepherd for the people entrusted to your pastoral care here in Pune and leading them to the encounter of Christ. In this regard, it is my hope that you will always also str strive to foster communion with all bishops, and particularly with the bishops of the ecclesiastical province of Bombay, and reach out in charity to the flock of Christ entrusted to you, namely the priests, the religious men and women, and the faithful. Your Lordship, Bishop Rodriguez, I express my congratulations to you on this auspicious day in your ecclesial life and assure you of my prayers and support. I entrust your pastoral ministry and all your missionary activities to the hands of Almighty God. I invoke the protection of the merry help of Christians whose feast we celebrate today, and I gladly impart uh, on behalf of Pope Francis the apostolic blessing to all of you here present. Thank you. Please stand for the synodal prayer. O oh, Heavenly Mother, we come before you with our various roles and different charisms. You who were always on the journey with Jesus. Your journey took us, took you to Elizabeth, Bethlehem, Egypt, Nazareth, Jerusalem, and Cana. You also journeyed with Jesus when he was preaching the good news. You journeyed with Jesus to the cross and also join the apostles invoking the Holy Spirit. And finally journeyed with the apostle John the Ephesus. Now you continue to journey with us, to lead us to Jesus. You are the mother and model of the Synodal Church. Be with us, Mary, in our Synodal journey to help us bring to fulfillment the Church of Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, for on this day his only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where he is. Amen. Amen. May he grant that as Christ after his resurrection was seen plainly by his disciples, so when he comes as judge, may he show himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. And may you who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. I invite the cardinals, archbishops, and bishops to join in the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We request all our dear bishops to kindly unvest in the sacristy and come back. I request the priests to unvest where you are. We shall collect the alms, cincture, and the vestments later because we have the felicitation ceremony immediately after the final prayer. Kindly be seated.
If Dr. Shamsuddin Tamboli is here, please come here immediately right in front. And also we have Pastor Inamdar. May I request you, both of you, to come here soon. Good evening, everyone. I am Father Simon Almeida, the parish priest of St. John Paul II Catholic Church, Wakard. I am in charge of this part of the program. This part of the program consists of three parts, mainly farewell to Bishop Thomas Dabre, felicitation of newly installed Bishop John Rodericks together with the cardinals, archbishops, and bishops present from many dioceses, and there will be a third part will be some speeches. We intend to end this part of the program in 30 to 40 minutes. We begin to the farewell to Emeritus Bishop Thomas Dabre. Bishop Thomas Dabre was consecrated bishop on May 27, 1990 for the Diocese of Bombay, and later was appointed as bishop of the Diocese of Vasai. He was appointed bishop of Pune on April 4, 2009. <clears throat> on March 25, 2023, Pope Francis accepted the resignation of Bishop Thomas Dabri from the pastoral care of Pune Diocese. To express our gratitude and sentiments to Bishop Emeritus Thomas Dabri, may I now invite Father Rock Green, the judicial vicar of the Diocese of Pune, to say a few words on behalf of the diocese. A tribute to Bishop Thomas Dabre. Your Eminence, Oswald Cardinal Gracious, Your Eminence, Philip Neri Cardinal Ferro, Your Excellency, Archbishop Leopold Girelli, Archbishop Anil Kuto, Archbishop George Anthony Swami, and Archbishop Felix Machado, Your Lordship Bishop John Rodericks, Bishop of Pune, and my dear bishops present on the dais here this august evening. I have the unique privilege of expressing these sentiments of gratitude to your Lordship, Right Reverend Dr. Thomas Dabre, Bishop Emeritus, on behalf of the priest of the Diocese of Pune. Bishop Thomas Dabre was my professor in the seminary I got acquainted with him when he took over as the Bishop of Pune. I began interacting with him closely when working on the vision mission statement of the diocese. Then, when publishing his book, Shepherding God's People, and finally, during the Synod on Synodality. These encounters gave me some very significant glimpses into the heart and mind of a genial pastor who has shepherded Pune in the style and manner all his own. He is a profound disciple of Jesus and so fulfilling the will of the Father with Jesus himself as the perfect example was his vision. He is a theologian bishop steeped 
in the teachings of Vatican Council II, the post-Vatican te Vatican teachings, and the encyclicals of the popes. And he has made his inimitable contribution, both on the national and the international levels. Any wonder, then, why the late Simon Cardinal Pimenta, the illustrious Archbishop of the Metropolitan See of Bombay, called him a 21st century bishop. In the diocese, he took keen interest in encouraging the clergy to pursue higher studies. He also personally organized and conducted monthly recollections for the clergy and invited men and women religious and at times even the laity and youth to attend and facilitate these recollections. He was a down-to-earth bishop. He not only visited parishes and centers in the diocese, but also made it a point to visit parishioners in their houses, especially the ones living in the slums and in abject poverty. His heart goes out to the poor and the less privileged. This was very evident in the projects that he undertook, personal interest in for the upliftment of the scheduled caste and tribes in the district of Satara. Reports of the services rendered to them is pioneering and very commendable. He also, during the floods and the COVID crisis, he, without hesitation, reached out to the victims, not only through the diocesan institutions, but was personally involved in these outreach activities. He was a bishop, not only of Catholics, but for all. He firmly believes that the church is not a cultural group or society formed based on caste, class, or nation, or language, whether Marathi or Malayalam, English or Tamil or Bengali, or whatever, nor of any religion. It is not a club. It is not a social service organization or association. The church is not formed along these human or secular lines. The Christian community is not a human creation. It is a, the faith community created by God, established by Jesus Christ, and endowed with the Holy Spirit. Towards the end of his tenure, we were engaged in the synod on synodality. Even after the diocesan report on the synod, was sent to the CCBI, he did not let it rest. He continued to encourage and promote the process for implementation of the Synod findings. So clearly, my dear people, all that Bishop Dabre said and all that he did expressed his deep love and concern for the Universal Church and her children, both the ordained and the lay, for the poor and the marginalized, for the cause of women and of migrants, for the education and formation of children and youth, for marriage and family life, for the building up of the local church right down to the grassroots level, for the cause of Christian unity and inter-religious harmony, for ecology, for synodality, for equality and justice, and for society and the nation. Dear Bishop Thomas Dabre, you have left an indelible imprint on the Diocese of Pune, and no one can erase it. Thank you, good and faithful servant of Holy Mother, the Church. Thank you. Thank you, Father Rock Green.
May I now request His Eminence, Cardinal Oswald Gracious, to felicitate our bishop with a bouquet of flowers, shawl, and a memento. As we all know that Bishop Thomas is promoter of interreligious dialogue, he expressed his wish to invite representatives from different religion to speak on this occasion. May I now invite Mr. Walimbe, the editor and writer representing the Hindu community, to say a few words. Namaskar. Sabai Namaskar. Me Praveen Vadimbe. Punatli Brahman Seva Sangasami Adyakshamun Kam Korte. And a journalist come editor, Mazza Magazine Sotazu. Gile a neck worship. As other Panisha Jizamlut, the Bishop Dabrasaran and Rob Denegarta, and a Navin Bishop John Rodriguez and Sir Swagat Karnegarta. Malafaka Ekaso Turkey, John the Pailan the Malakurlogi, Bishop Thomas Sir retired with it. Malashur Otlani, Karene Otlani, as a Kailuka Pla, we shall have Sukit and Kadis retired with an Asapli. अपने आइने कदीज रिटायर्ड हुई थी ना स्टार्स शायद अपने मन्नत बहुना आती तसस बिशप डाबरे सरान बदल है कि या वह तो इतने एक्टिव हैं ते सतत रह लेते हैं ना बेसिकली ही बिकम ए रोल मॉडल कशार था नहीं मंटो कि तंची पर्सनलिटी अच्छी है तीसरे शांता चिंतन सील तंसा बीगे क्रिश्चियन बिशप तंसा � प्रचार करना प्रचार करना शिक्षण धार्मिक शिक्षण समाज का फिक्स करना है अनेक गुस्ती इस तरह पर ते करता इस तरह ना ही बिकम है सोशल एमिन एनिमल मैं ये ते बेसिकली तंचे वधल ची ओढ़क अख्या पुण्य गलत साउदा वर्ष याद बिशप डाबरे है ना वो घरा घरा तो नहीं मन्ना मन्ना कार ही लो कारण तंदी जैका � अतः मुस्लिम समाज के यहाँ तंबोली सर असील पीए नाम दर असील कि यहाँ शिक धर्मत ले राष्ट्रपाल सिंह असील हिंदू धर्मत में यार के कि यहाँ वेद मूर्ति के हिसाब से सब बड़े इंचे मित्रों कैसे कहे तेरे कारण है जैसे कि there are no barriers तंचा है जब no religious barriers ते पुणे कर मुन्न जगले वाडले सगे पुणे करने दिने आपला स दूसरा मुझे अपना धर्मा प्रचार किया धर्मा बदल चुकी महती नागरिकान परंतु जाने करता मीडिया ऐसा योग्य वापर कशा करवा हे देखिल तेरे खूब चांगले पति थे मलाट होते कई वर्षों पूर्व ही अपना क्वार्टर गेट सोकातील सिटी चर्च ला दोनसे पंचवीस वर्षे जली तल लाइटिंग के लिए ला अनेक कार्यक्रम जले यू कैन्ट � Tani Tachabarur with Dhadi was calm killer Peter. And the inspiration was Bishop Dabre, sir. And the media ni udh prasiddhi dili, udh prasiddhi dili, ki tatna peshwani dili zaga di te ubarele te church, such activities, arogya, shikshan, sakas. Tachate kaatsa je keradun rangu na lela. Each and every factor te newspaper ma te rose of the Sakara of so times of India, tachate yanaras. हे सगळे करता स्वतः बिशप डाबरेसर मात्र पडदे मागत राहिले तेवढं बघितलं की प्रसिद्धी चांगली होती ना आपलं रोल काय तर चर्चची प्रसिद्धी 
मला असं खूप लिजेंट वाटलं की किती सिम्पल माणूस आहे हा ही सो ऑथॉरिटी पण पण आपल्या धर्माबद्दलची माहिती वेगवेगळ्या उप उपक्रमातनं जनतेपर्यंत पोहोचवण्याकरता ही सो इगर आणि त्याबद्दल मला त्यांचं कौतुकही वाटलं मी त्यांना जे रोल मॉडेल म्हणलं की ते याच अर्थाने की ते कधीच स्वतःचं गौरव करण्यात कधीच त्यांनी धन्यता मानली नाही पण लक्षात घ्या ते पुण्याचे इतके एकरूप झाले की जेव्हा आता वार आळंदीची आळंदी देऊची वारी येती पण पंढरपूरची दरवर्षी ते आळंदी ती वारी पुण्यात आली की बिशप डाबरे तिथं उपस्थित माझ्या मराठी भाषा संवर्धन प्रतिष्ठानचा मराठी रत्न पुरस्कार असेल त्याच्यात बिशप डाबरे प्रमुख पाहुणे म्हणून हजर पुण्यामध्ये धार्मिक शांतता ना लाभावी म्हणून सर्व सिक्युअर सखी धर सर्व धर्म समभावाची प्रार्थना म्हणण्यासाठी असतील बिशप डाबरे सर तिथे उपस्थित म्हणजे ज्याचा अर्थ असा आहे की एक सोशल लाईफमध्ये त्यांनी स्वतःला फिक्स करून घेतलं होतं आणि सोशल थॉट्स कुठले त्यांचे तर व्हेरी प्रोग्रेसिव्ह अतिशय प्रोग्रेसिव्ह विचार म्हणजे त्याच्यात राष्ट्रीय एकात्मता सर्व धर्म समभाव सामाजिक समता आणि लोकशाही म्हणजे आपल्या राज्यघटनेतले जे काही चार महत्त्वाचे टप्पे आहेत त्यातलं नॅशनल इंटेग्रेशन सेक्युलरायझम डेमोक्रेसी आणि सोशल इक्विलिटी या चार तत्वांकरता या व्हॅल्यूजकरता ते अतिशय ठाम आहेत आणि त्या दृष्टीने त्या विचारांवरती श्रद्धा असणाऱ्या लोकांचं त्यांचं जमत गेलं आणि तो माहोल वाढत गेला आज देखील आपल्या देशातली परिस्थिती आपण बघतो आहे की लेफ्ट आणि सेंट्रल असे जे फोर्सेस आहेत विरुद्ध राईट विंग्स ज्या तो काही संघर्ष चालू असेल तर त्याच्यात आपले व्हॅल्यूज जे आहेत बेसिक डेमोक्रेसी किंवा सेक्युलरिझमच्या त्याला तडा जाता कामा नये याकरता अनेक शक्ती चांगल्या प्रकारे काम करत आहेत सायलेंटली बिशप डाबरे देखील त्याला संमती देत असतात की येस दिस इज द राईट थॉट आणि त्याकरता अशी व्यक्ती जी सर्वसामान्य माणसांच्या प्रगती करता प्रोग्रेस करता अगदी मनापासून काम करते स्वतः नामानिराळी राहते आणि जसं मी त्यांना म्हटलं की ते सोशो रिलिजियस लिडर आहेत नुसते रिलिजियस लिडर नाही आहेत आणि सोशो रिलिजियस लिडर अपोप होत नाही त्याकरता स्वतः योगदान द्यावं लागतं ते बिशप डागरेंनी भरपूर दिले आता ज्यांना ज्यांना कळलं की बिशप डाबरे हे आता रिटायर्ड झाले आहेत नो वन बिलीव्ह शक्यच नाही म्हणतात आणि ही इज नॉट टायर्ड ही विल नॉट रिटायर्ड टेक्निकली रिटायर्ड झाले ठीक आहे समजू शकतो पण फॉर्च्युनेटली मला असं वाटतं त्यांचा सहवास आपल्याला इथं ते इथंच राहणार आहेत त्यांचा सहवास आपल्याला खूप लावेल माझा फक्त एवढंच विनंती आहे डाबरे सरांना की त्यांनी ही जी काही त्यांनी स्वतः जगद्गुरु तुकारामांवरती डॉक्टरेट केलेली आहे असा हा विद्वान चिंतनशील व्यक्तिमत्व असणारे बि बिश बिशप म्हणजे व्यक्ती एक पैलू आणि एक म्हणजे वन पर्सन मेनी डायमेन्शन्स असं त्यांच्याबद्दल लिहिता येईल बोलता येईल म्हणजे त्यांना एवढीच विनंती राहील की आता आपण रिटायर्ड होत आहे टेक्निकली आपल्याला आपण शताविषयी व्हा आरोग्यदायी राहा आपलं मार्गदर्शन आमच्यासारख्यांना सदैव मिळत राहो आणि आपला गौरव की आपलं स्मरण हे देखील आमच्या दृष्टीने खूप सदैव प्रेरणादायी राहत राहील म्हणजे माझी पिढी किंवा माझ्या नंतरची पिढीला देखील खूप खूप असं प्रेरणादायी व्यक्तिमत्व म्हणजे बिशप डाबरे सर मी त्यांना दीर्घायुष्य चिंततो आणि त्यांनी आजपर्यंत समाजासाठी केलेल्या सेवेबद्दल मनपूर्वक आभार मानतो त्यांचं अभिनंदन करतो आणि एवढंच म्हणतो की शक्य असेल तर माझ्या आयुष्यात काही वर्ष त्यांच्या आयुष्यात घाला पण असा मार्गदर्शक जो आहे तो समाजात शताब्दीच्या पुढे लखलखत राहो ही ईश्वरची आणि प्रार्थना करतो धन्यवाद याचबरोबर डॉक्टर आपलं जॉन रॉगड्रेस सरांनाही शुभेच्छा देतो धन्यवाद मला दृष्टी प्रॉब्लेम असल्यामुळे मला एड लागते म्हणून आय कुड नॉट कम डायरेक्टली हिअर प्लीज कन्सिडर दॅट Thank you, Mr. Walimbe. I now invite Sister Maria Goretti, Superior General of the Congregation of Our Lady of Fatima, to say a few words. Good evening to everyone gathered here in the presence of the Lord. Indeed, I consider it an honor to say a few words about our beloved Bishop Emeritus Thomas Dabre. 
I take the privilege and bow before all the dignitaries present here and express my joy of welcoming all of you to Pune Diocese for this celebration. Bishop Thomas is known to us, Fatima sisters, from 1970s. As a priest in the seminary, he reached out to many places to celebrate the Holy Eucharist in Marathi, particularly for the poor people of Ramwadi. He regularly visited Eroda Jail, along with brothers from the seminary, celebrated the Holy Mass, and administered their spiritual needs. Humility and, humility and character is the hallmark of the highly educated people, and that is seen in Bishop Thomas Davre. Our bishop is gifted with wisdom, knowledge, and intelligence, which he shares with others generously through ecumenism and interreligious dialogue. He aims at promoting peace and inclusiveness, which comes at the cost of preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Bishop Thomas is a man of courage. Very often we hear bishops' talks in different forums, in interreligious dialogue and in other meetings, in the midst of all type of people of various religion, one will be surprised to see how courageously he proclaims that Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Fearlessly he carries him Christ with him and leaves the message to every participant that he is the man of God. Bishop Thomas is an excellent writer and courageous speaker. He's a man of discipline, very much organized and genius. His faith in God made him grow stronger and mightier to endure tides of life with smiling face all the time. Bishop has his own convictions in life. He has a charisma for social transformation and uses his social mobility through the inculcation of discipline and literacy. He is a linguistic person who can learn the languages very fast and communicate to people in their own language and make them feel comfortable. He is a radical thinker and ardent reader. He is friendly with all religious leaders, such as Hindus, Muslims, and others, but very firm in his communication that he is a man of Jesus. Dear Bishop Thomas, our desire is to see you sharing your intelligence until the last breath of your life through your writings and lectures. I always tell Bishop, Bishop, please write books. We want the legacy to be continued, all your knowledge to be shared with others. And I am sure he will do it. I take this opportunity to thank you for your blessings, your encouragement and kindness towards us religious men and women. I sincerely acknowledge your wholehearted support to us to carry out our ministries at different places in the Diocese of Pune. I personally thank you, Bishop, for encouraging me while I was doing my doctorate, and you went through every page of my thesis, and you asked me to release it as a book, and because of you, I released it. And you always asked me, educate your sisters, send them abroad, let them study, prepare theologians. I'm happy to tell you today, this year we are sending two of our sisters to Rome to do their licentiate. Thank you, Bishop, for reminding me now and then. You are a bishop for 33 years and your priesthood for 52 years, but you still look young and energetic. Now that you are our Bishop Emeritus, we wish you happy and peaceful and healthy life. Once again, I thank you, Bishop, on behalf of all of us present here. We assure you our prayers and request your prayers and blessings for us. May God be praised through you all through your life, and Mother Mary may always hold you in her arms. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Sister Maria Guriti. Now invite Dr. Shamasundin Tamboli, 
who is the Muslim Satyashodak Mandal President. Yes. Bishop Dr. Thomas Dabre, Yanchashi Maitri Ahehe Sangya Sati Kahilokana Vatil Kihe Atma Prodi Kurte, Ani Maja Junatil, Hek Vishesh Uplabdi Ahe. Bishop Dabre Saransa and Maza Sneha Jorpas Don Dashakansa Vis Varshansa Asla Tari Okay <laughs> So from last one and a half decade we have been working for increasing interfaith dialogue We have celebrated Christmas Ramzan Eid, Dipavali, Independence Day, Pulwama Day. Prisoners are our brothers and like this. For me, Dr. Bishop Dabre is a symbol of communal harmony and national integration. He has made himself so great and he has loved not only Christians but all Indian people and also the people of the world. I will be more comfortable in speaking in Marathi. Dabre Sarankade Pahilanantar ji divetvachi anubhuti ete. Karan tezari jalmane Christian asle ani atta parencha kalamade zari bishop manun tani kartavya ani zababdarya. पार पाड़ले ले असलिया तेरी त्यांचे कार्य क्षेत्रों हे इतिहास मर्यादित असन नवतच त्यांनी भारतीय संविधान आणि सुसंस्कृत नागरिक आणि मानुस कसा असु शक्तो याचे प्रत्यक्ष एक सिंबल मनुन आइकॉन मनुन आइडियल पर्सन मनुन अम्चा समोर ठेवले लाए आमी त्यांचे आदर करत गेलो रिस्पेक्ट करत गेलो and the other frame that we have given to us. The work is very big. In the Magasi Matla Pramane, the Kadachit Bishop or Bhumi Ketun or Rol Madun retired from the hospital. But the interest of our people, 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 and अपने जीवन सहेतुक पद्धति ने जगनो, life with purpose, life for humanity, अनि Christ ची जी एक universal value, universal teaching आए, universal message आए, तो त्यंचा जीवनाचा एक अविभाज्य भाग आए, अनि ते फक्त वैचारिक नहीं, तो वर्तनातुन त्यंनि व्यक्त केलेला है, अम्चा जीवना मधे bishop सारखे दाबरे सरांचा सारखे व्यक्तिमत्व वाले मनु अमाला सोताला सुधा विकसित करता आलो अम्चा दृष्टिकोण अधिक व्यापक करता आला अने मनुन बिशब दाबरे सरांचा या अत्यंत रदेश पर्शी अशा या कार्यक्रमा बदल मी सुबेच्छा देतो पुडिल कारात सुधा अधिक नवयात जोमाने शक्ति ने एनर्जी ने अपन कार्यरत रहो अस मला दाबरे सरांचा वती ने विश्वास दावा सवार तो अने यह ठिकाने पुणे प्रांता साथी डायसिस पुणे मोंड साथी बिशप जॉन रॉड्रिक साले ले आये ती हिच परंपरा पुणे चालू तील अमी त्यंचा ही सोबत याच पद्धति ने कार्यरत रहो त्यंचा ही या कार्या साथी में मुस्लिम सत्य शोधक मंडराचा वती ने सुबेच्चा देतो अने माझा म Thank you, Dr. Shama Sundin. May I now invite Pastor Inamdar, promoter of ecumenism in Pune and India, to say a few words. Sarvat Pratham, Apna Sarvas, Krista Made Salam, Acha Ya. संगम रूपी कार्यक्रम आमदे ये दोन कार्यक्रम एकत्रित आलेले आहे 
पहला कार्यक्रम जो आहे तो वेलकम दुसरा कार्यक्रम आहे फेअरवेलचा आहे सर्वात प्रथम मी प्रॉटेस्टंट चर्चेच्या वतीने नवीन बिशप रॉड्रिक्स यांचं मी हार्दिक स्वागत करतो आणि त्यांना शुभेच्छा देऊ इच्छितो त्याचप्रमाणे डॉक्टर बिश थॉमस डाबरे यांना कठीण अंतकरणाने निरोप समारंभ देत आहे डाबरे साहेबांचा समाधा आणि त्यांचा संबंध अनेक वर्षापासून आहे आणि विशेष करून इकोमेनिकल मुवमेंटमध्ये त्यांनी अतिशय सहभाग घेत भूमिकेमध्ये कधीही मला असं जाणवलं नाही की त्यांनी दुधाभाव केलेला आहे सर्वांना एकत्र घेऊन एका प्लॅटफॉर्मवर आणून आणि एक वेगळा आगळा संदेश त्यांनी महाराष्ट्राला दिलेला आहे केवळ ख्रिस्ती समाजामध्येच ते प्रसिद्ध नाहीत किंवा ख्रिस्ती समाजामध्येच ते कार्यरत नव्हते परंतु इतर धर्मामध्ये सुद्धा ते कार्यरत होते इतर सर्व गोष्टीमध्ये सहभागी होते त्यांना कोणत्याही कार्यक्रमाला बोलवलं तर तेच कधीही नाही म्हणत नव्हते आणि मला म्हण नेहमी म्हणायचे मी येतो मला सांग कुठं बोल यायचं कुठं जायचं आपल्याला कुठं काय करायचं आहे म्हणजे त्यांची जी जिज्ञासा आहे ती अतिशय विस्तृत प्रमाणाची पाहायला मिळाली आणि खरोखर मी आनंदाने या ठिकाणी म्हणू शकतो की पुणे धर्म प्रांताला आज बिशप डाबरेंसारखे नेतृत्व करणारे बिशप लाभले आणि त्यांनी धर्मप्रांताचं उत्कृष्ट तऱ्हेने नेतृत्व केलं त्यांना निरोप देत असताना आम्ही परमेश्वराजवळ हीच याचना आणि प्रार्थना करतो की त्यांना उत्तम आरोग्य परमेश्वराने द्यावं आणि आरोग्य देऊन त्यांच्या बाबतीतल्या ज्या काही योजना आहेत त्या योजना साकार करण्यासाठी त्यांना शक्ती देऊ सामर्थ्य देऊ पवित्र आत्म्याने त्यांना भरो आणि पुणे धर्मप्रांतामध्ये ते अधिक आणि अधिक आणि केवळ पुणे धर्मप्रांतामध्ये नव्हे परंतु इतरही धर्मामध्ये त्यांनी उत्कृष्ट कार्य कराव करण्यासाठी परमेश्वराने त्यांना खूप आणि खूप शक्ती द्यावी त्याचप्रमाणे नवीन आलेले बिशप साहेब जॉन रॉड्रिक्स यांच्यासाठी आम्ही हीच प्रार्थना करतो की त्यांनाही परमेश्वराने सामर्थ्य द्यावं शक्ती द्यावी आणि पुणे धर्मप्रांताचा हा कारभार करीत असताना त्यांना उचलून धरावं आणि त्यांनी जशा तऱ्हेने बिशप डाबरे यांनी कार्य केलं तशा तऱ्हेने की म्हणा त्याहीपेक्षा अधिक शक्तीने त्यांनी कार्य करावं हीच परमेश्वराजवळ प्रार्थना आणि इच्छा धरकतो धन्यवाद आता बिशप थॉमस डाबरे यांनी आपलं मनो मनोगत व्यक्त करावं त्यासाठी त्यांना विनंती करतो प्रिय आणि प्रेमळ बंधू भगिनींनो युअर एमिनन्स कार्नल ऑजवल वी व कंपॅनियन्स यू मे नॉट नो for six years when I studied uh, in the Goregao Seminary. Uh, Your Excellency the Apostolic Nuncio, the new Cardinal uh, Philip Neri, all the Archbishops here, all the Bishops, all the priests here, all our religious sisters, religious men, brothers and sisters and those of other veg vega sanskruti cha ani dharman cha lok apan sarvancha ya thikane mi mana pasun swagat kartoy and i thank you very much with the and also blessed i forget you know father rock green pravin valimbe sir is a big intellectual and uh, dr shamsuddin Tambali is a radical Muslim, you know, radical. 
so much so that I always tell him, I, I tell his wife also, wonderful lady, Benazir. Uh, he needs security wherever he goes <laughs> because he is critical also of whatever is wrong, whether in his community or in the nation. And I also want to thank uh, Pastor Inamdar, we have been great friends and he has encouraged and supported me and invited me several times to their Anglican church here in town. So as I thank them all, with the installation of Bishop John Rodriguez as Bishop of Pune, history is in the making. A new dawn is shining upon us. Bedecking the sky with the glittering light of the risen Lord. It's a promise of a great and brighter future. The baton now passes on to Bishop John Rodriguez. I wish my successor all the best in his role as Bishop of Pune. He's a proven metal. He's been an excellent seminarian, excellent priest, excellent professor, and that will be good in the context of the academic community for philosophy and theology here in our campus. He's been a formator, papal seminary, and other seminaries are here. So I think it is an ideal appointment with the recommendation of our beloved Apostolic Nuncio, the Holy Father has appointed him. Friends, individuals come and individuals go. But the mission of Jesus Christ and of the church continues unhindered. The mission is the goal. Individuals are instruments and vehicles of the mission of Jesus Christ. And our Holy Father Pope Francis has told us, we're not only just on a mission, we are not just missionaries, but we are mission. Teva Ishwarana apna sarvana ek vishesh karya karne sati. Vishesh karun Prabhu Krishna chai. Ani rasra cha bhalya che kaam karne sati. I always insist that Christ was rasranista apart from being the savior of the world. He, was, he loved his people of Israel. He loved his nation. In the Holy Bible, so much is indicated about being patriotic and being truly, truly nationalist. And therefore, I always say that we Christians in India, as we are Christians, we are also Indians first and Indians last. And India is the gift of God given to us like to everybody else. India... Bishop used the word Punya, India, Christians regard as the Punya Bhumi. <clears throat> Nobody thought, including my friends, that I would ever become a bishop because I had many, many lacunae. That only shows that we are only instruments in the hands of the Lord. Jesus has said, after all that you have done, say to yourself, I'm a useless servant. It is a radical statement. To have the courage and the, and the heart, the gumption to say, whether 33 years or whatever, the 52 years as a priest, I'm a useless servant. So this is what I realized after 33 long years as a bishop. That with all this ministry, I'm a useless servant. So I just want to thank and praise the Lord. I want to thank most sincerely Pope St. John Paul II. He is the one who first, at the recommendation of Cardinal Simon Pimenta and the Apostolic Nuncio then, Kachya Vilan, he appointed me first the Auxiliary Bishop of Bombay. 
And then Pope Benedict appointed me. Oh no, yeah, Pope John Paul II appointed me as a bishop of Versailles. I am a divider, you know. The bishop is supposed to be unifier. But uh, with my role as the auxiliary bishop, I made sure that our Lord has said that I have come to divide. So I also came to Vasai or to Bombay to divide and Vasai was carved out of Bombay. We will always remain immensely grateful to the Archdiocese of Bombay. And Pope Francis also now for having so much trust and confidence in me that he kept me on as a bishop of Pune beyond my age of 75. Though I had written to him at the age of 74 that I have already been a bishop of 30, 31 years. Now it's time for me to step down for the glory of the Lord. But he came, he, he can ask me to continue. It's really a break surprise for me, three, almost three and a half years to continue. I'm immensely, immensely grateful to our beloved Holy Father Francis. And for all their trust in me, I also want to thank the various dicasteries, especially the dicastery for the doctrine of faith. Because I had the privilege of being over 10 years president of the both CBCI and CCBI commissions for the do doctrine of the faith and theology. Interreligious dialogue and evangelization for the doctrine, the, the dicastery for these two, interreligious dialogue and evangelization and proclamation of the faith. I want to thank them all in a special way. I also am immensely grateful to the apostolic nuncios from 90 onwards. They all have been extremely good to me. Personally would phone me and support me. Of course, every time I would meet the apostolic nuncios, my first thing used to be any complaints. So there was no positive answer to that. <laughs> so I'm immensely grateful to all the apostolic nuncios and especially to our beloved nuncio, uh, Leopoldo uh, Girelli, extremely good and kind to me. And he has honored me on several occasions. He also came for the golden jubilee of my ordination. Your Excellency, I have no words to thank you for your kindness and for your respect. Give him a big hand. I wish to thank our own beloved Cardinal, His Eminence, Oswald Gracious. We've been friends, I, I can say almost from childhood when I was uh, 16, when I joined the seminary, he was there already. He was always the most popular and the most intelligent seminarian in our, in our group and in the entire, semi, in the entire seminary. And now, of course, he has gone to the very highest levels of the church and serving the church and society and the nation with absolute consummate skill and wisdom. Your Eminence Cardinal, thank you very much for your being a great, great support to me. Great. I also wish to thank all the bishops of the Western region. It has been a great joy for me for the last, yes, last 33 years as a bishop, I've been attending the Western region bishops meeting. We have formed a great fellowship. It is now like a family. Earlier it was not so. And may I mention that Archbishop uh, Philip Neri and Bishop Archbishop Abraham, they made a historic contribution to unite us with bonds of affection and peace, and, uh, and peace, yes. So I also want to thank in particular Cardinal Philip Neri Farao, the new Cardinal, my student, I boast of him, give him a big hand. <laughs> Already as a student of philosophy, he impressed me. Till he left as a student of theology, I can say that Cardinal Philip will be all time one of the best seminarian papal seminary has had, Cardinal Philip. During the last 33 years, 
the bishops of India have been extremely appreciative and supportive. I'm grateful to, of course, Cardinal Simon Pimento, whom I have already mentioned, and all the bishops of the Diocese of Bombay. And I also want to thank Archbishop Felix Machado, my successor in Vasai, who is doing a great job in Vasai. And all the clergy, religious and the lay faithful of Bombay, of Vasai, and now in Pune. So, some of my friends are surprised at the difficulties that I've had to encounter. But I have not been surprised at all. If you want to be my follower, take up your cross and follow me. So honestly, difficulties, crosses have been there, man-made, artificial, misguided, bad spirit. It's all part of your commitment to the mission that you have to bear it. And I'm very happy. I think I can stand before the Lord and say, I want to thank you that being a bishop and a priest has not been a bed of roses. And you have helped me to survive. Thank you, Jesus. That all that is part of the mission. We always have to carry our cross without grumbling. So, dear friends, I thank God. I thank all of you. And I request you to go on praying for me. And in a special way, I want to thank all my beloved people of the Diocese of Pune. It has been a great, great pleasure to interact with my beloved friends of the Diocese of Pune. I have related to the people of Pune, not as just members of the diocese, but members of a family, my personal friends. And I have received so much love, affection. I will ever, ever remain grateful to the people of Pune. I also want to thank our sisters. Excellent collaboration with me. Whenever I call them for any programs, even for monthly recollection, they are always there. Thank you, dear sisters and all our beloved religious women in the Diocese of Pune. I also want to thank the religious priests and brothers in the Diocese of Pune. Honestly, wherever I went, I've been received so well by the religious. I'm immensely grateful to them. So, I wish to pray, I wish to request you, appeal to you, go on praying for me. And I cannot forget the priests of the Diocese of Pune. As you heard Bishop John Rodericks emphasizing the priests are the collaborators of the bishop. We cannot reverse that equation. It is the priests who are the collaborators. So, so many good things have been said by Mr. Walimbe, Dr. Shamsuddin, and also Pastor Inamdar, and of course, our judicial vicar for the rock green about what is happening in the diocese, it is because of the collaboration of all the priests. The priests have supported me and have solidly stood by me. Thank you, fathers of the Diocese of Pune. Thank you very much and God bless you. <laughs> you know, I, it is a brief statement because some other speeches also will follow. So I have not said anything actually much, but just uh, sort of a formality, but from my heart, I end by saying thank you very much. And again, I promise full loyalty and collaboration with our beloved Bishop John Rodericks. Thank you, Bishop Thomas Dabri. Brothers and sisters, we now begin the second part of our program, mainly the felicitations. Once again, let us put our hands together for our newly installed Bishop John Rodriguez, the Bishop of Pune. May we all stand and clap. <laughs> Bishop John was appointed Auxiliary Bishop of Bombay on 15th May 2013 
an ordained bishop of, on 29 June 2013. His Holiness Pope Francis appointed him as a bishop of Pune on Saturday, 25th March 2023. A hearty welcome to you, Bishop John, in the Diocese of Pune. May I request Bishop Thomas Dabre to welcome Bishop John in Puneri style. <laughs> and may I request His Eminence Cardinal Oswald Gracious to felicitate our bishop with a shawl, a memento, and a bouquet of flowers. His Eminence Cardinal Oswald Gracious, His Eminence Ca Oswald Gracious was consecrated Bishop of Bombay on 16 September 1997, was appointed Archbishop of Bombay by Pope Benedict XVI on 14th October 2006, was raised to the Cardinalate on 24th November 2007. On 13th April 2013, he was appointed to the eight-member Council of Cardinals, informally the Council of Cardinal Advisors, established by Pope Francis to help with the governing the Catholic Church and reforming its central administration. Cardinal Oswald, we the Diocese of Pune can't thank you enough for releasing one of your auxiliaries for the Diocese of Pune. May I request His Excellency Archbishop Jireli to felicitate Cardinal Oswald Gracious with a shawl, a memento, and a bouquet of flowers. His Eminence Cardinal Philip Neri. Cardinal Philip Neri Farrow was appointed Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Goa in Daman on December 28, 1993. He received the Episcopal ordination on April 10, 1994. On December 12, 2003, he was appointed the Archbishop of Goa in Daman and Patriarch Ad Honorem of the East Indies and installed on March 21, 2004. Pope Francis elevated Cardinal Philip Neri Farrow as Cardinal on August 27, 2022. May I request His Excellency Archbishop Girelli to felicitate Cardinal Philip Neri with a shawl and a memento and a bouquet of flowers. His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli. His Excellency was named Apostolic Nuncio to India and Nepal by Pope Francis on 13th March 2021. He was consecrated as a bishop in June 2006. Your Excellency, we are very grateful to Holy Father Pope Francis and you as his representative for appointing Bishop John Rodericks for the Diocese of Pune. May I request His Eminence Cardinal Philip Neri to felicitate His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli with a shawl, a memento, and a bouquet of flowers.
Most Reverend Anil Kuto, Archbishop Anil Kuto was appointed Auxiliary Bishop of Delhi on 17th January 2001, consecrated on 11th March 2001. He was transferred as Bishop of Jalandhar on 24th February 2007. He was appointed as Archbishop of Delhi on 2nd December 2012. May I request His Eminence Cardinal Oswald Gracious to felicitate Archbishop, Anthony, Archbishop Anil Kuto with a shawl, a memento, and a bouquet of flowers. Most Reverend Felix Machado, Archbishop Felix Machado was appointed as the Archbishop of Nasik on January 16, 2008. It was consecrated on March 8, 2008. He was later transferred to the Diocese of Vasai on November 10, 2009, and was installed on December 19, 2009. At present, he is also the Secretary General of CBCI. May I request His Eminence Cardinal Oswald Gracious to felicitate our Bishop with a shawl a memento and bouquet of flowers. Most Reverend George Anthony Swami, Archbishop of Madras, Mailapur. On 21st November 2012, Pope Benedict XVI appointed him Archbishop of Madras and Mailapur. He previously served in the diplomatic services of the Holy See. May I request once again His Eminence Cardinal Oswald Gracious to felicitate Archbishop Anthony Swami with a shawl, a memento, and bouquet of flowers. The Emeritus Bishop Edwin Colasso of the Diocese of Aurangabad was appointed Bishop of Amravati on 1st April 1995, was consecrated on July 30th in that year. May I request Bishop John Rodericks to felicitate him with a bouquet of flowers, shawl, and memento. He was then also appointed Bishop of Aurangabad on 20th October 2006, and retired on 30th May 2015. <laughs> right Reverend Thomas Elavanel, Bishop Ma Thomas Elavanel was appointed as the second Bishop of Kalyan, a Syro Malabar diocese, on November 11, 1996 was consecrated on February 8, 1997. May I request Bishop John Rodrix to felicitate Bishop Thomas Alanwal. He's not here. Right Reverend Bishop Agnello Gracious, Bishop Emeritus Agnello Gracious was appointed Auxiliary Bishop of Bombay on March 13, 2001, was consecrated on April 21st, 2001. He's now appointed as Apostolic Administ Administrator of Jalandhar Diocese. May I request Bishop John Rodericks to felicitate Bishop Emeritus John Agnello Gracious. <laughs> right Reverend Bishop Alvin Barreto, Bishop of Diocese of Sindhudurga, he was appointed Bishop of Diocese of Sindhudurga on 5th July 2005, consecrated on 5th October 2005. 
may I request Bishop John R Rodericks to felicitate Bishop Alvin Barreto. Right Reverend Lourdes Daniel, Bishop of Nasik. He was appointed Bishop of Amravati on June 8, 2007, was consecrated on August 2, 2007. On November 11, 2010, he was transferred to the Diocese of Nasik, where he was installed on December 14, 2010. I request Bishop John Rodriguez to felicitate. Right Reverend Thomas Mar Antonius, is he here? No. Right Reverend, Bi right Reverend Ambrose Ribello, Bishop of Abrangabad, for Francis appointed him its bishop on April 13, 2015. May I request Bishop John Rodericks to felicitate. Right Reverend Joseph Raja Rao, Bishop of Vijayawada, was appointed on December 19, 2015 as Bishop of Vijayawada Diocese. He was consecrated Bishop on 2nd February 2016. May I request Bishop John Rodericks to felicitate Bishop Joseph Raja. Right Reverend Sebastian Mescarnes, Bishop of Baroda, was appointed as Bishop of Baroda on December 31st, 2022 by Pope Francis and was ordained on 1st February, 2023. Request Bishop John Rodriguez to felicitate him. We now move to the third part of our program, mainly the speeches. We have only three speeches now. I request His Eminence, Cardinal Oswald Gracious, to say a few words. My brother Cardinal, my brother bishops, archbishops, very especially Archbishop Leopold the Girelli, the representative of the Holy Father, my dear fathers, my dear sisters, my dear friends. Uh, I want to say once again a deep appreciation, first of all, to Bishop Thomas Dabry, our emeritus. Uh, we were companions for many, many years in the seminary, and uh, I remember having installed him 14 years back and today he came to install his successor. Uh, he has made a tremendous impact on the national level, international level, for different matters. If you know, uh, continuous committees for the FABC, CPCI, CCBI, and I've met him very often in Rome. He's made a difference, and I think now that he's emeritus, he can begin to do what he likes to do, concentrate more on dialogue and inculturation and really uh, helping us, helping the church in India even more than before. Uh, you are retired, but not out of action. You certainly have much more to do. Thank you, Thomas, for all that you've done. And I also want to remind you that you belong to the undivided Archdiocese of Bombay, so you still have links with Bombay, so you're always welcome to stay with us. I want to say uh, we've heard so much 
about Bishop John, and I've noticed a transformation in him already. I think when I put it, when he sat in the cathedra, the Holy Spirit came very forcefully. I've never seen him speak with such gusto and enthusiasm. He gave his inaugural homily with... <laughs> then he was multilingual. I've never heard him sing before, but then he sing the, sang the peripsum in a different melody, different voice, which I'd never heard in Bombay. So now he's, I can see a total transformation in Bishop John. John was my student, uh, and in, the, in class, I remember him, I ordained him a deacon. I, I remember that uh, uh, he was the brightest in the class, but uh, with the best gift, but he was not, never was a humble person. A very inter ex extraordinarily intelligent, but humble, gifted by God with so many natural gifts, but always wanting to share the gifts. He had a heart for the poor, heart for those in difficulty, continuously uh, working for others. That's a very, very, very selfless person. I noticed that already in the seminary, and then later on when we were together. He has spent 10 years as auxiliary bishop. I noticed the Holy Father in his letter said that He's a peritus in the office of bishop. Uh, that, that was in the letter of the Holy Father. And he's really an expert in uh, the function of a bishop. He was 10 years bishop, three years rector of the seminary, and seven years as rector of Mount Mary's Basilica, uh, one of the most popular shrines in the country where thousands of, and under him many things uh, changed. He took in hand a tremendous amount of projects. As rector of the seminary, he showed himself as a master at uh, dealing with people, controlling situations. As rector of uh, Mount Mary, he showed himself as a master of institution, good in administration, took up even a few, there were many, many major situations there. And a few days before he came here, he signed some very important papers, completing some projects. We'll all miss him in Bombay. Uh, it's, a it's a matter of joy for Pune, was a matter of sorrow and of sadness for Bombay. The Lord has given and the Lord has taken away. I hope the Lord will give again something better to us. Uh, the, the, the Lord had given uh, John many, many gifts, I want to say, and he used them always for the service of the church. Uh, he, we will miss him, I will miss him personally, because in, the team of, in our team of bishops, he was, he's the youngest. He was the youngest, and was no longer on the team. Last night when I prayed for him at the canon, I said, last time I'm using his name in the canon as auxiliary, and now he's no longer there. And he would always come for our team meetings with a laptop, and at the press of a button, he would bring all the details of the institution, of the priest, of the parish, or, and I don't know who will take his place now uh, uh, in our team of bishops, because none of us is so adept. I have given up, but the younger, other younger ones are still trying to get into this. Uh, he, again, was a person who made a difference in many matters. We consulted him. The night before he left for Bombay, he left for Pune, I remember I went to see him with a whole, whole set of files to take his advice on many matters, because he was the one who advised us mainly, especially on, now's the time of transfers, personnel. He was the professor of most of the priests. He knew them personally, able to help us to uh, really uh, take decisions. We're grateful to him. Now, uh, to the people of Pune, the Holy Father again said, uh, we are asking you to treat him with esteem, with affection, and with uh, diligent cooperation. Uh, that, that I think all of us, all of you will follow. So I, we are giving a gift to the Archdiocese or to the Diocese of uh, Pune, the gift of <laughs> Bishop John. And to him and to the Diocese, the Archdiocese of uh, Bombay, I, I want to give a, a gift from Archdiocese of 15 lakhs of rupees for the, to the Diocese to help him for whatever important project he wants to do. Uh, we. I want to say we are giving him strong, healthy, energetic, please treat him well, take good care of him and uh, so that he can continue his good work for the church, for Christ and for all of us. God bless you. Congratulations on this great achievement of yours.
May I now invite Cardinal Philip Neri to come and say a few words. Your Eminence, Oswald Cardinal Gracious, Your Excellency, Most Reverend Leopoldo Girelli, Apostolic Nuncio, Bishop John Rodriguez, the newly installed Bishop of Pune, Bishop Thomas Dabre, Bishop Emeritus of Pune, my dear Archbishops, Bishops, members of the clergy, religious laity, and my dear friends. I've been asked to say a few words on this special occasion. And with great joy do I stand here to speak, not only in my name, but also as the president of the Conference of Catholic Bishops of India, CCBI. I assure you there will be few words. My first word is obviously of congratulations to our dear Bishop John Rodriguez being appointed a residential bishop of a diocese brings with it a considerably greater responsibility than that of an auxiliary bishop. But having been an auxiliary for a decade in an archdiocese like Bombay, this new responsibility should not pose a problem, especially for someone who has been so endowed by providence as Bishop John. I have known Bishop John for the 10 years that he has been a bishop. We have been meeting at various bishops' meetings ever since, and he has consistently come across to me as a man with a good head on his shoulders, mature, responsible, and ready to take greater responsibilities at the service of the church and of society. And also one who acquits himself well in any given task. All this coupled with a disarming simplicity and approachability, qualities which are certainly grounded in his personal holiness and rectitude. This should not be surprising, as he comes from a very religious family that has given not one, but three priests to the church. In fact, all the sons in the family. His two brothers, Savio and Luca priest. Savio is here. I understand Luke is in Rome, could not be here. We congratulate and we remember his beloved parents. As Bishop John embarks on a new chapter in his Episcopal ministry to the church, we wish him well. Dear Bishop John, you have been entrusted with the task of serving, nurturing, and guiding your flock in Pune in their journey of faith. The challenges that lie ahead of you may be daunting, but I have no doubt but that with the support of your Presbyterium, of the religious men and women, and of the laity in your new diocese of Pune, you will be able to confront them with grace and determination. As a sign of our congratulations and assurance of our prayers on behalf of our conference, I would like to request Archbishop Felix Machado to felicitate Bishop John with a shawl and Bishop Alvin Barreto to offer him a bouquet of flowers. My second word is our, to our dear Bishop Emeritus Thomas Dabre. My acquaintance with the outgoing Bishop Thomas Dabre has been of a different kind. 
We have met each other, as he himself said, in the 1970s, when I was a young student of philosophy at the Papal Seminary. And the friendship that was forged almost half a century ago has not waned in the least all along these years. We all know that his scholarship and deep understanding of the Indian religions and philosophies have earned him a respectable name in our country, particularly in the realm of Hindu-Christian dialogue. He has served the Diocese of Pune as its shepherd for 14 eventful years after he was the Bishop of Vasai for 11 years and Auxiliary Bishop of Bombay for eight years. He has also served for seven years the Latin Church in India as the Secretary General of the Conference of Catholic Bishops of India. Besides having served the CBCI, the Western Region, the various commissions, Bishop Dabre, the Church in India is indebted to you. The Church in Pune is particularly grateful to you. As you pass your baton to Bishop John Rodericks, we rest assured that the banner that you have been holding for the last 14 years will continue to be held high by your successor, and that his Episcopal ministry to this diocese will be a source of spiritual nourishment and strength for all the members of this local church, just as yours have been. May I request Archbishop Anil Kuto of Delhi, the Secretary General of CCBI, to honor Bishop Dabre with a shawl, and our Bishop Emeritus of Aurangabad. We are so happy to have him, Bishop Edwin Kulasso, to offer him a bouquet of flowers. My last word, well done, Bishop Thomas. Buck up, Bishop John. Both of you have names of the apostles. Thomas, whom Jesus loved, who was so spontaneous, whom he came to meet in person after his resurrection. John, the beloved disciple who wrote the gospel. We all pray that God may abundantly bless both of you, and more especially, this, our beloved Diocese of Pune, the clergy, the religious, and the laity of the Diocese of Pune. May all the members of this local church continue to be served with dedication and led with wisdom by those whom providence places on this Episcopal seat from time to time. Congratulations, Diocese of Pune. May God bless you. May I now request Archbishop George Anthony Swami to felicitate John Rodericks on behalf of CBCI. May I request Bishop John Rodericks to come and say a few words. Cardinal mentioned that I already spoke very forcefully, so this will be brief, well, not so brief. On the facade of the church of the cathedral are the statues of St. Patrick, Mary, help of Christians, and Peter and Paul. St. Patrick explained the mystery of the Trinity by the image of the shamrock, the three leaves growing out of a single stem. I give thanks to the Father, the Son, and the Spirit for all that I have experienced, my growth in faith, my trust in the Father, my surrender to Jesus, my Savior, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. 
Mary, our mother, is the one who cares for each one of us as we celebrate this feast of Mary, help of Christians. She nurtures and guides us in our faith journey. And I have experienced this at the Basilica of Our Lady of the Mount. She continues to inspire us and to invite us to listen to her son. I have sought our Blessed Mother's guidance in moments of difficulty, and yes, she has really worked wonders. As I thank our Blessed Mother for her role of nurturing and caring, I thank God for all those who have played this role of nurturing and caring in my life, in my faith journey. I thank God for my late parents, Stanley and Corinne. My father, Stanley, I remember him for his kindness and his not wanting to harm anyone, being gentle and loving and caring. And my mother, for her compassion, her great courage and faith, and her concern, especially for the widow's group. May the Lord grant them eternal rest as they look down uh, with joy on this occasion. To my brothers, Father Savio and Luke, thank you for the inspiration that you are, for the love and care and concern you show, for your dedication to the ministry, and for helping me at various moments in my own journey. There are many priests who have been guiding me too, but I had two brother priests to help me, one a diocesan priest, one a Jesuit. I chose to be a diocesan not because there was anything lacking in the Jesuits. I have learned so much from the Jesuits too, and I'm grateful to them. Thank you, all the priests, and you, dear Savio and Luke, for all your love and affection and guidance. I thank God for all the others who have been a source of inspiration to me. Thank you, dear relatives. Our family is very small, and so our first cousins are very close to us, and our second cousins too. Thank you for your presence here, all our relatives and friends and neighbors, for your appreciation and love for the three of us. Those who have nurtured me are also my uh, archbishops, Cardinal Simon Pimenta, who was the one who, when I joined the seminary and who ordained me, Cardinal Ivan Dias, I was his secretary for a year, I learned so much from him, and Cardinal Oswald Gracious, who has spoken. Thank you for your kind words, Cardinal. Yes, you noticed me right at the time of my seminary days, and you've been constantly guiding me. I look up to you as an inspiration. Thank you for all that you have done for me. May the Lord bless you with good health and continue as you serve the Universal Church, the Church in India, and the Archdiocese of Bombay. Thank you from the depth of my heart. <laughs> Bishop Dabre, you have been the shepherd of this flock for the last 14 years, and now you hand on the responsibility to me. Thank you for your love and dedication to the people of Pune, and for encouraging and in promoting the witnessing and the implementation of the principles of Vatican II. It has been challenging, and you have taken, for, taken the lead and broken new pathways. May God bless you now with abundant health for the 33 years of service as a bishop. You've mentioned that you have been a teacher of so many. I think 33% of the priests in India have been taught by Bishop Dabre. <laughs> Thank you, Bishop Dabre. God bless you with good health. I also give thanks to the previous bishop, Bishop Valley. He's the one whom I've known also very briefly. We thank God for his service. I'm told 33 years in the Diocese of Pune itself. May God grant him eternal rest. Thank the Lord also for the previous four bishops before me. I'm still getting familiar with the names and their terms of service. All of them have contributed to making the diocese what it is today. We thank our friends from Eichstadt, three representatives present here. Thank you for these years of collaboration of, from 1955, 68 years, and we look forward to going ahead, convey our regards to the Bishop of Eichstadt. We also have the sister dioceses or daughter dioceses that also have been part of this collaboration, Sindhudurg and Nasik. And together with them, we give thanks to God for you, the people of Eichstadt. Our apostolic nuncio, your excellency, thank you for your kind words and the assurance of your prayers. 
you represent the Holy Father. We assure you to convey to him our deep gratitude and thankful for the confidence that he has placed in me. Thank you and Cardinal Tagle for all the efforts and work in, in, uh, in the procedure. And we pray that Pope Francis continues to lead and guide us. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. So that's Mother Mary and all the role of nurturing and all those who have played a nurturing role. Peter and Paul are collaborators together, so different in their witnessing, in their style, in their way of preaching, in their uh, demeanor, in their attitudes, and yet working together. And so that is what the church is called to be, diversity and yet united. I give thanks to God for all those with whom I have collaborated in the past in the Archdiocese of Bombay, the auxiliary bishops, the staff at Archbishop's House, the priests, all the members of the Courier, various asso associations there, and uh, all the priests of the Archdiocese of Bombay. Thank you so much, in particular the two institutions that I've been in the last years as bishop, the seminary, very dear to my heart, and now Mount Mary's. Uh, seminary professors were here. Uh, Father Michael Govius of uh, Mount Mary's was here, but I guess he's already halfway on the way back to, uh, to Bandra. Uh, thank you also, all those who have journeyed with me and collaborated in various ways. You, dear people, dear priests, dear religious and consecrated persons, are now the collaborators with me here in Pune. I'm sure we will work together, we will formulate a vision and move forward, and with God's grace, God's will will be done here in this place. May the Lord be glorified in all that we do. May we as priests continue to serve our people with love and dedication. May we experience their prayerful support. And I'm sure, dear people, your active cooperation with all our activities and our projects. Uh, our bishops are close collaborators also. I'm very grateful for the presence of the Western Region bishops here. Uh, I'm happy that the three bishops who ordained me in 2013 are here, Cardinal Oswald, Cardinal Philip Neri, and Bishop Agnello Gracious. Thank you for your presence here. And we have also the CCBI uh, uh, office bearers. Once again, Arch uh, Cardinal Philip Neri, uh, Archbishop George Anthony Swami, Archbishop of Madras Mylapore, and Archbishop Anil Kuto, Archbishop of Delhi. Thank you for the long distance that you've traveled uh, from Delhi, from Madras, to be here. Thank you so much for your presence here. Thank you, dear Western Region bishops. Thank you, Bishop uh, uh, Joseph Rajarao from Vijaywada. We worked together on the Commission for Bible together. Thank you for traveling this distance and being here. All the bishops who have expressed their gratitude and their support, God bless you. Priya Bandhu Bhagini no, me tum cha sardhi prathna karin ki tum chi shraddha parmeshwara che krupe ne wa sakramant dware, palkiya karya dware, pravachana dware, azun drud hoil. Wa tuji shraddha bahun maji shraddha drud hoil sutta. Mere priya bai aur behano, sabhi dharmo ke logo, mai aap ke liye bhi prathna karta hu ki prabhu ka aashish aap par aaye, aap ke karya me prabhu aap ko yash de, और प्रभु के प्रेम और शांति आपके परिवार के हर व्यक्ति पर आए मे गॉड ब्लेस यू अबंडेंटली थैंक यू बिशप जॉन रॉड्रिक्स फादर सेवियर रॉड्रिक्स ब्रदर ऑफ बिशप जॉन रॉड्रिक्स हु रिप्रेजेंट्स हिज फैमिली हियर फादर सेवियर इज अ प्रीस्ट ऑफ द डायसिस ऑफ बॉम्बे एंड एट प्रेजेंट ही इज अ रेक्टर ऑफ द माइनर सेमिनरी May I request Bishop John Rodriguez to felicitate Father Xavier Rodriguez with a shawl, a memento, and a bouquet of flowers.
I must express my gratitude to the organizing committee, Father Malcolm, and all those who have collaborated to make this event a wonderful moment. Uh, Father Malcolm will do that in a short while, but my personal thanks to you, Father Malcolm Sequera, for all that you've done for this program. God bless you. We have a representation from our partner diocese, ISTAT. We have with us Dom Props Alfred Rottler, Dr. Gerard Roth, and Mr. Christian Gartner representing the global presence of the church. On behalf of Bishop Gregor Maria Hunker, Bishop of Diocese of Eistad, the delegation will hand over two icons of Apostle St. Thomas, one to Bishop Thomas Dabre and one to Bishop John Rodericks. The icons are handmade in Ukraine monastery. May I request the delegation to present them the gifts. May I now invite Father Bausaib Sansari, the president of CRI, and Sister Divya, the secretary of CRI, to felicitate the newly installed Bishop John Rodericks on behalf of the religious men and women. On behalf of all lay faithful of the Diocese of Pune, may I request Ms. Lina D'Souza to welcome Bishop John with few words and Mr. Darrell Cardodas to hand over a shawl and a bouquet of flowers. Psalm 78, verse 72. With upright heart, he shepherded them and guided them with his skillful hand. A warm good evening to all of you. There are very few people in this world about whom there is so much to say that we don't know where to begin. One such personality is none other than the newly appointed Bishop of Pune. I'm honored and delighted to welcome His Lordship, Reverend Bishop John Rodericks, a man of great wisdom, intellect, experience, vision, spirituality, and practicality are just a few words that describe him. He has adorned many hats during his ministry, making him the most apt person for this esteemed position. He began his priestly journey as assistant parish priest at St. Michael's Church, Mahim. He has served as secretary to the Archbishop 
Bishop John has obtained a licentiate in systematic theology from the Pontifical Lateran University, Rome, and served as a professor at St. Pius X College for nearly a decade, and thereafter was the dean and subsequently the rector of the college. He was also the secretary of the priest council and the archdiocesan coordinator of the year of faith in 2012-13. He was the auxiliary bishop of the Diocese of Bombay before taking over as the Bishop of Pune. On this blessed occasion, I cannot hold back the mention of another dynamic personality, late Mrs. Corin Rodericks, the beloved mother of our bishop, a young widow and mother of three sons. She gave them all to the consecrated life of priesthood. Father Savio is a parish priest in Mumbai. Father Luke is vice provincial of the Jesuits in Bombay. And of course, Bishop John, the youngest. But that's not all. She was also an active founding member of several initiatives, such as the Hope and Life Movement, visiting the sick in the hospital, purchasing groceries for a homebound person, babysitting, organizing programs and outreaches for the widows, earthquake relief and outreaches rebuilding the dilapidated homes of needy widows, organizing marriage encounter programs, couples retreats, to name a few. Truly magnanimous and awe-inspiring. I've had the good fortune of meeting Bishop John Rodericks at the SEC convention in October 2019 in Vasai and was impressed with his knowledge, skills, and preparedness. I'm certain that with the blessings of the Almighty and under the able leadership of Bishop John Rodericks, the Diocese of Pune will continue to thrive and grow as a well-balanced unit of God's kingdom. I now request Daryl Cardoza, Secretary of the Diocese and Pastoral Council to kindly welcome his Lordship by presenting him with a bouquet of flowers on behalf of the entire laity of the Diocese of Pune. Let us all give Bishop John Rodericks a big hand. We now come to the last part of our program. Before that, Father Malcolm Sequera, who will propose the vote of thanks, I invite him to be present here. In gratitude to his services as the Vicar General of the Diocese of Pune for the last 11 years, and taking the responsibility of the organizing this installation ceremony, we would like to felicitate him. Thank you, Father Malcolm, for looking after the Diocese as Vicar General for the last 11 years. May I request Bishop John Rodericks to felicitate Father Malcolm with a shawl and a bouquet of flowers and a memento. Please give him a big round of applause. Father Malcolm will now propose the vote of thanks.
it came as a surprise to me from Father Simon and the committee. Thank you, Father Simon. Well, I know it's late and all of us are ready to go, but proposing a vote of thanks is an essential part of any program, and especially a significant and holy event like the installation ceremony of a new bishop cannot be concluded without thanking people who have worked hard and spared their valuable time to be here today. I will try to, I, I will try my best to be as brief as possible, so kindly excuse me that I will not be mentioning all the names that actually deserve to be mentioned. We thank God for the six caring shepherds he gave to the Diocese of Pune, the seven being the person of Bishop John Rodericks. Thank you, dear Bishop John, for leaving your home ground and accepting to be the Bishop of Pune. We assure you our full support and collaboration. We are grateful to Bishop Thomas Dabri, who is known as the Bishop of the People, who left his office door open to meet any person, any time. Thank you, dear Bishop Dabri, for shepherding the Diocese of Pune for the past 14 years and for all that you have done to bring God closer to our people. Personally, I'm grateful to you, Bishop Dabri, for giving me the opportunity to be your Vicar General for the past 11 years. Let us give him a round of applause. Sadhu Sante Tighara, Tochi Diwari Dasra. Today we have many eminent and holy personalities present among us to share our joy of the installation of our new bishop. Trust me, they are all super busy people, but they have spent their valuable time to be here. I extend our sincere gratitude to His Eminence Oswald Cardinal Gracious, the Archbishop of Buna and the Metropolitan Bishop. Firstly, we thank you, Your Eminence, for installing your own auxiliary. What a blessing that you install your auxiliary as a Bishop of Pune. We know that you are one of the most important as well as busiest person in the church. And yet, out of your love for Bishop John and the Diocese of Pune, you find time to be here. A big thank you to you, your eminence. And we assure you that Bishop John Rodericks will be well looked after in the Diocese of Pune by the priest and the people and the religious. His Eminence, Cardinal Philip Neri Ferrao, Archbishop of Goa and Daman, and President of CCBI, we are grateful to you, Your Eminence, for your kind presence here. I think you are attending a public function for the first time after you were elevated to the rank of Cardinal by our Holy Father in Pune. Please accept our hearty congratulations and our prayer for your new office. We acknowledge the esteemed presence of His Excellency, Most Reverend Leopoldo Girelli, the Apostolic Nuncio to India and Nepal. Your Excellency, you are representing the Holy Father. Your presence brings the powerful blessings of our beloved Pope Francis. Thank you for being here. Our deepest gratitude goes to Archbishop Felix Machado, Archbishop Anil Kotto, Archbishop George Anthony Swami, and all the bishops present here. We are so happy to have each one of you participating in this significant event of the Diocese of Pune. Please give them a round of applause. I would like to thank our own two women superior generals present here, Reverend Sister Maria Goretti of Sisters of Our Lady of Fatima and Reverend Sister Rita de Silva of Sisters of St. Ursula for your kind presence and your constant help to the diocese. 
words cannot express our gratitude to all the men and women provincials of Pune for their esteemed presence here today and all their help. Also, we thank all the rectors who are present here. I thank the clergy, both the diocesan and religious, as well as the religious women come from Pune, Mumbai, and other parts of the country. Thank you for being here. We acknowledge the presence and greetings of the delegates come all the way from Eistat, Germany, our partner diocese. Thank you for coming. You have added the international flavor to this installation ceremony. <laughs> Friends, it is impossible to organize such a splendid event single-handedly. The installation committee has worked day and night looking into every minute details of today's program. From the bottom of my heart, I wish to thank all my committee members for their collaboration and their untiring efforts, especially Father S. L. Lewis, the rector of the cathedral, who has worked very hard to get the venue arrangements and other preparations done with the help of his assistant priests and parish collaborators. Father Colin Hendricks, assisted by Father Savio Rodriguez for preparing the liturgy and organizing many practices. Father Dominic Adams and Father Rock Green for the food arrangements. Father Wilfred Fernandez and Father V. Luis for the accommodation and hospitality of the dignitaries and priests. Father Simon Almeida for the felicitation program that we are having at the moment. Mr. Kamil Parke and Father Stanley Fernandez for handling the media and praise. I wish to thank Father Nigel Barrett and his team come all the way from Mumbai, and they helped us in live streaming this ceremony on YouTube and also on the LED walls. Let's give them a big applause. <laughs> My dear friends, you will agree with me that the choir was heavenly and melodious. It helped all of us participate more meaningfully and prayerfully in the Eucharistic celebration. We are grateful to you, Father William Anthony, Mrs. Evelyn, Amanda, Nikita, and all the choir members. They have come from different parts of Pune, different parishes of Pune. Thank you so much, my dear choir members, for your time and efforts. You were simply superb. We are grateful to Denzil for clear and audible and quality sound, McDonald for the gorgeous floral decoration, Prakash for LED screen, Sandeep Marathe for mandap and lighting decoration. We are grateful to our altar servers, our own seminarians, and the new catechumen seminarians for their help and assistance. We thank Jayashilan for the photographer. Many works are managed by the various committees of the cathedral. I thank all of them for their hard work. I express my gratitude to Father Simon de Souza for his help and making the school premises available to us. We are indebted to the police department for the permission for this program and their protection. The editors and the journalists of various newspapers for covering this event last two days, and many were here today to cover. We'll see them in tomorrow's newspaper. Finally, my dear brothers and sisters, I thank each one of you for witnessing this important event, either by being present here or watching it online on YouTube. God bless all of you. Thank you so much. Just two announcements before we uh, leave from this place. For those groups and individuals who wish to greet Bishop John Rodriguez, Bishop will be available tomorrow, 25th May, from 11.30 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. and from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. 
The second announcement, all religious sisters are requested to proceed to the Eistat Hall at the school site, and all priests are requested to gather at Bishop Valerian Hall located behind the cathedral. Thank you and God bless you all. We shall, we shall say the grace before meals. Before that, I'd like to announce that I confirm all the diocesan offices till further notice. So they continue with their responsibilities till further notice. And uh, we will now prepare ourselves for the meal. Let us say together the grace. Bless us, O oh Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, Christ our Lord. Amen. Transform 